So lame. Alright. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ati. You can call me Tia or Sunny Girl. It's giving Oreo. But yeah, my name is Tia. You can call me Tia or Sunny, whichever one you like. I feel like I'm sleep deprived and. That's why I got all this energy. I'm really tired. <sighs> it's 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. But yeah, I am going to show you guys how I do this hair color. Not the hairstyle. I don't know how to do this hairstyle. I probably could like teach myself. But it's just two like space buns in the back. Can y'all see? Space bun. Space bun. And then she added like a little braid in there too. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. Um, I didn't do that, but I am going to show you guys how I touch up my black and how I touch up this gold stripe. Yo, it was really, really good. Like, I'm glad I like recorded it because it came out perfect. So, let's get into it because I'm rapping. So, I already um, detangled my hair and everything like that. So, I can get straight into it in this video. I have it in five sections because this of course I'm bleaching and in this I'm re-dyeing black because it's grown out it's faded like the basically I if you are new here I dyed my hair red and I dyed it ginger and now it's black <clears throat> so the ends basically are fake black so I have to re-dye it because it faded and it's down back to like a brownish black which is not my natural hair texture my natural hair texture i mean not my natural hair what am i saying my natural hair color is the roots which is like close to a black i would say it's like a two honestly so i got these two box dyes so this one is dark and lovely for the black and then this is for my blonde skunk stripe <gasps> what is up okay first thing first i have to prep both dyes so right now i'm just getting the bleach together for my skunk stripe i really like using the l'oreal feria platinum blonde because it lifts my hair super quick and i never notice anything happening with it like damaging my hair or anything this is my second or third time using it and i like it i usually typically like the l'oreal um, hair dyes anyways and then while preparing the bleach I always wear gloves because the nails cannot get messed up and I don't want my skin getting messed up either and then I gotta shake it up shake it up shake it up shake it like a salt shaker girlfriend okay because you really want to make sure it's mixed really well Then on to the black dye. It was super quick because it was only one step, which was putting the rich conditioner in the developer. If you've never used a box dye, it does have instructions in the inside as well as gloves inside of the instructions. So you really don't need to go out and buy any gloves. But if you're a little like me and you wanna be like super, super, super cautious or you're clumsy and you get bleach on the black like me and you have to change your gloves then i suggest buying some gloves um but if you do get bleach on like your black hair dye all you have to do is wipe it off with some tissue and it'll be fine it won't bleach Baby, 
Now, once the bleach is sitting on my roots, I like to go ahead and move to the black hair dyes. So, I'm only working this into the ends of my hair since my natural hair color has grown out a good, good bit. I just have to focus on the ends and making sure I coat all the strands. I like to do this after my skunk stripe just because I want my hair to lift as much as possible um, in 20 minutes because I do give myself 20 minutes after application to have like the full process of 30 minutes because it probably took me just about 10 minutes or so to put the bleach and the hair dye on my ends. And then I just applied a bag, love Target, always have a bunch of Target bags. And I just hate wasting money on plastic caps when I literally have so many plastic bags from Target, TJ Maxx, like, hello, reduce, reuse, recycle, yeah. time to tone my hair this is how it look it's towel dried so it's still a little wet um, I'm gonna use the t18 toner I used it on the ends and I like it it looks like a little silvery blonde I had to touch up my roots just a little bit more because like right here it wasn't as you know it's still not a straight line that's crazy. That's that's what DIYs are about. It's just you just you know it just be whatever. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. I don't really need that much. So last time I did too much. Take some toner. I need some developer. This is 20 volume developer. And then just pour some in there. More developer than the toner though. Mix it up, mix it up. And I think I'm gonna just take it with my hand. Let me towel dry it a little bit. Cause I did just wet it. and marinate for about i'm gonna check on it in like 20 minutes or so all right so this is how it came out it looks perfect actually so that was perfect so i don't need that much toner <sighs> like a, probably like a quarter amount of toner and then like four like literally i'm talking about like a quarter size like a quarter size amount of toner and then four quarter sizes of amount of developer. Perfect. So, I'm gonna do like three different types of um, conditioners in my head, cause I'm about to decondition. So firstly, on this part, I'm gonna use the one that they gave me in the, the box. This one, L'Oreal Feria. It is an anti brass conditioner, so I'm gonna use that. But I'm gonna also use this Olaplex hair perfector. I'm using this on all of my hair. Um, and then on my black hair, I'm gonna use the biodensity. Um, basically to help with like the density of your hair. I use the shampoo all over, but I don't wanna use this on this part because I just don't want it to be growing that fast. Like, it be needing to calm down, calm down, calm down. 
like it, it grows too fast so which is a good thing like lord i don't want you to stop my growth but i just don't want it to grow as fast over the next couple of you know weeks well <laughs> girl tomorrow it'll be you'll see because this kind of makes my hair dry so i'm gonna use this one this is the odd roll of beauty how mint deep conditioning treatment so that's what i'm gonna use all over my head i'm gonna just take about that much and then work it into my head because my hair kind of feels just a little dry This is how it's looking. This is fake. Even though it's like literally, are you kidding me? I have to ask her where she got that hair from because like, are you kidding me? So just got my hair done by none other than Camille Crowns, baby. Yeah. I'm doing myself because my hair is nice. She did like a little braid right there. And she did one on the other side too. Super cute. I don't know how I look in the back. It might look. No, actually, I did see how I look in the back because she recorded it and it looks cute. Um, but yeah, that is it. That's how my hair turned out. Like, is you kidding me? It's getting icy. Wife me. Hey, no one I hate me. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot because this is literally the color I was going for. Like that platinum -y blonde, not gray. When I put too much of that T18, it made it gray. And it was not what I was looking for. So, just remember that part. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, everywhere. Your girl is everywhere. She global, okay? She everywhere. Lemonade, I'm even on Pinterest, okay? Also, subscribe if you made it this far. And if this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.